For assignment number one, you should have already clicked on the link that said Windows 7, getting started with Windows 7. Um, I want you to watch this video here, which is a 3 minute, 17 second long video on uh, Windows and how to use Windows. And then also, if you click on each of these buttons, it'll tell you what each button does and the parts of the desktop. So we've already set our wallpaper, but I'm going to have you label these buttons that are on the desktop as assignment number one. So here is how you complete that task. You, again, don't move on to uh, page three. This is only page two. Watch the video and go through these interactives here. So here's what I'd like for you to do. Uh, I want you to first click on this button in the far right hand corner which says show desktop. Now here is our desktop wallpaper and we're going to take a snippet of this and this is how you use the snippet button. We're going to click on snippet which should be on our taskbar here. It's going to bring me to this screen here and you notice that my that my pointer turns from a from an arrow to a crosshair. So we're going to start in the very upper left hand corner. We're going to hold our left mouse button down and we're going to drag a box all the way across and down the whole screen and this is how you use the snippet tool. Whatever I decide to snip whether it be my full screen or just a portion maybe I just want this snipped it's going to turn this into an image and then I can copy and paste this by copying and paste or I can save it to my H drive or my desktop so that I have access to it at a later time and I would want to rename this from capture to you know Mr. T. Make sure we always name our files appropriately so that we know what they are. So that's what the snippet tool does. So again we're going to take a snip of this entire wallpaper with all our icons included including the taskbar just like this. Now if you haven't already had your digital portfolio open you should uh, open this by now so click on the Windows Explorer button and navigate to your H drive again it should be under computer right here if you click on computer now mine does not show the H drive but yours should make sure you double click your H drive and when we're opening this make sure we're not on save as make sure we are in open not save as so we're gonna open um, up our portfolio and this is what we should have already so on slide 2 which we already created in the slide title and I told you that the layout of the slide for slide 2 should be title only and this is the reason why we're gonna put wallpaper desktop okay again make sure you capitalize the W and the D this is our wallpaper desktop now from my snippet this is what I have already and we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna choose copy we're gonna come back down to our PowerPoint presentation our digital portfolio and on slide two we're gonna right click and we're gonna choose this button here which is paste now you notice that we have our entire wallpaper our entire desktop snipped and copied and pasted to our digital portfolio however the picture is a little bit too large for a slide so we're gonna click on our image and we're gonna go to the sizing handle in the upper left or right hand corner and we're gonna shrink this down a little bit so that it fits on our slide so that we still have a title for our slide indicating what the assignment is uh, notice that the bottom is cut off so we need to shrink it up a little bit more use those corner handles make the adjustment to make sure that there is space in between the edges of your slide the bottom of your slide so let's shrink this, this, this a little bit bigger here now using the link from right here I want you to label each of the following things so icons folders um, recycle bin desktop background date and time taskbar start button 
and shortcuts on the taskbar, I'd like for you to add to the first assignment these buttons right here and what the desktop entails. So make sure that you have gone through this page right here. So let me show you how to do that next. We're going to go back to our portfolio. And some of the things that we have to, uh, to offer here is if you're on the Home tab in PowerPoint, we're going to choose Insert, actually. We're going to choose Shapes. We're going to come all the way down and we're going to choose Callouts. And the Callouts are text boxes that allow you to pinpoint areas on your screen. So I'm going to choose one of the easy ones here. Um, this one right here. Uh, again, my mouse turns to a cross here. So I want to label this Recycle Bin. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag where I want this. Now you see that it's not where I want it. So I'm going to click and move it. I'm going to take this yellow point right here and I'm going to move it over to my Recycle Bin and I'm going to type in here Recycle Bin. We're going to leave it the same font size, but let's shrink down the box so that it saves us some room. Because we also want, again, insert, shape, call out. I'm going to use a different one here, and I'm going to, for all of these, icon. I'm going to type icons. Again, shrink the box down so that it f doesn't take up a lot of room. There we go. Next, insert shapes, callouts. Again, one of these are, are best. The clouds work too, whichever one you want to use. We're going to label the start button here. Start button. And again, we're going to shrink the text box so that it just fits those words. Move the yellow pointer down to here. Move this out. Move the yellow pointer. And so on. Um, you're going to label the taskbar. You're also going to label the time and date and the wallpaper itself. So you're going to label everything that's from this assignment here that you linked to. Recycle bin, folders or icons, start button, taskbar, shortcuts, date and time, desktop background or wallpaper as, as we've referred to it so far. So make sure that you have labeled all of these things in our portfolio just like this so that this is assignment one. And as a matter of fact, in the title, you can put assignment one. Let's get rid of a few of these things. So this is what your assignment for uh, assignment number one should look like. And this is slide two of your digital portfolio. Again, you're going to have more buttons labeling the, uh, the desktop. By the way, these right here are called gadgets. And again, if we go down to the bottom right hand corner and we choose show desktop and we right click our desktop, you're going to see gadgets right here. We're going to go into this a little bit more here in the next chapter. But this is where you can add the calendar, your clock, and the weather. Um, our zip code is 49098. And the next tutorial is going to talk more about gadgets. So when we do, you're going to need to come back to assignment number one. You're going to you're going to need to label these as well. So again, insert shapes, call out. We're going to label these gadgets. Shrink the box down. use this yellow button here. We're going to drag it all the way over so that we know that these are our gadgets.
Uh, you'll do this. You'll have to come back to this assignment, though, once we get through the gadgets portion of the assignment. So this is assignment one as of right now, labeling your desktop and taking a snip of your desktop.